What is up my YouTube family? I'm about to give my opinion on this new rhythm shooting, new shooting engine that we're going to have in NBA 2K25. My first thought is as a content creator, when I heard that whites will be going in now, I thought, man, this is going to suck for competitive people, including myself. Because the last thing that you want to do in any competitive game is lose to a fluke. And to me, when whites go in, it's called a fluke because the person didn't do their part in timing the shot, whether it be Internet issues, whether it be um, maybe just 2K servers are creating too much latency, whatever it may be. No more to the excuse. They didn't do their part to do what they needed to do, which is green the shot or in COD, for instance. If it's, it's like auto aim, if, if COD had GTA's auto aim tracker system where you just tap L2, hold L2, and it automatically tracks you to the, the, the target. It's not a good thing for a competitive gaming. If you look at it from a marketing standpoint, stay with me. All the biggest two K's I'm talking about every single two K that pulled the most numbers that made 2K happy, made them a lot of money, but also kept the community hype. They fed into feeding the casuals because that is what this is. With the low risk shooting and the high risk shooting, the better shooter you are, the higher risk you're going to want to be able to put your setting on. Because if you are a good shooter, you're going to be penalized if you're timing your shot somewhat correctly. It's kind of like real player uh, percentage in a way. So if you're somebody that has a lot of internet issues, stuff like that, you're going to want to go with the lowest option where you can make some whites because you can't correctly time your shot for whatever reason. It could be just that you're, you're not a good shooter. It could be because of internet problems. But if you're somebody that knows how to time your shot, like most of us do, right? And you choose that low risk option, you're going to miss a lot of shots and there's not going to be no whites to save you. So the reason why I think that this might be what 2K needed to fix 2K is because like I just told you, take a look at all the other 2Ks, every single 2K from the past. Take a look at them, right? Every single one of them that was good, that the community loves and holds in their treasure chest, they all allowed whites to drop. 2K22 did, 2K19 did, 2K20 did, 2K15 did. <laughs> uh, 2K16, I really didn't play that much, but I, I do remember 2K16, you can miss green. <laughs> 2K17, I think white dropped as well. 2K18, for sure, whites dropped because I've seen games where people made four or five threes that were straight whites and it still went in. Now, I was always somebody that said, please do not let whites go in. I do not like the idea of whites going in. If you don't time your shot, whatever the reason may be, leave it that way. But removing the competitive side of it, this is going to be good for the gaming because all the little Timmys are going to come. The little Timmys, the little Bills, all of them are going to come back. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm able to compete now. I'm going to, I'm going, I'm, I can just go to the stage. And if I can just hit that one shot in the corner, which is a white, I'm going to feel good. All right. I can compete again because that is what gaming is about. It's not only because right now 2K is only made for adults. I'm sorry. You kids cannot afford to play this game without swiping the credit card. It's not meant for kids. It's too expensive. So if they're going to have it so expensive, and not only that, it requires so much time. Whereas us adults, we get off work or you your, get your off college. Time. Boom. This is your time now. Yeah, homework and all this stuff as kids and things like that, right? Win. It's going to be bad for me on the competitive side. It'd be terrible, and it's going to have to be patched. But if it's just one every four or five games, might not be that big of an issue. But even if it's making multiple whites in one game, it's going to be a love hate relationship because it's going to keep people on the game. It's going to keep people enjoying the aspect of they're able to play 2K again and make shots that they necessarily wouldn't have made before. Right. Because a lot of people, we saw what you guys were doing this year. You couldn't shoot the ball. Right. And you couldn't shoot the ball last year. Push timing, all that stuff is returning. We don't know how it's going to affect the rhythm shooting system that they have, but I will tell you this. No matter how bad the whites are, if you're a good shooter, you'll be able to green your shots like usual, right? So just stay in the lab. You shouldn't lose to nobody that's 
can't shoot, right? I will say that as a content creator, this is a W. So it's it's a love-hate relationship. I have the side of me that is saying, yes, that means more people on the game, more viewers, more people engaged in the game, better environment, more money. Happy, happy, win-win. Competitive, if I lose to a white, I already know how I'm built. I'm going to be angry if I lose to a white in the stage in the corner because we know the lock is 50. And if we leave the lockdown open and he freaking doesn't time his shot because he's 50 and he still gets rewarded for that, it's going to make us angry. And you cannot tell me if you were on the underside of that, it wouldn't because you remember how it used to be. Let me know in the comment section what you guys are thinking. I think it's a love-hate relationship that we're about to experience and we might see it patched the first friggin' month. You know, <laughs> if the 2K community does not like something, if it's not implemented correctly, it, it's going to be told this needs to be patched. All right. So keep a lookout now. So the shot profiles are what I'm describing. The rhythm shooting is going to be something totally different with the right stick shooting. We're not really concerned about that. Most of us are not going to use that feature. I might use it just to do a nice combo and cancel it. I would not follow through with the shot. Just cancel it into a combo. So those for, for those that are 50, you're probably going to have to just go ahead and put it on the lowest shooting mode. Those who are more seasoned, go with the high risk. All right. Now, my only thing is this might be <laughs> this might be this might be a downfall of us because let me tell you something. The cheating has been growing. It's been it's been growing. It's been growing a lot this year with the new devices. And I'm hearing that there's just a website. You don't even need a device anymore. You just go to a website and now you're able to cheat. Shout out to uh, this guy in the comment section. If you just go to this website on whatever, right? I'm not going to show the website name, but those who know and have been doing it, you can probably vouch. I will say this. If the devices are allowed even close to like last year, the high risk shooting is about to be insane. You're going to be seeing people shoot from even from the inbounds on the other side of the court. You know how they were shooting from the other three point line fading without take this year with the Titans. They're going to be shooting from the inbounds. Some 2K is going to have to do something. We don't know what they're going to have to do, but they're going to, have to do something because yes, this can be a W for the 2K community's health to bring the casuals back and the kids back because the kids are what makes the game move forward. All right. Us old people. Yes, I'm talking about you. If you're 20 years old or above, welcome to the old head Avengers. Because when I was 20 years old, you always calling me an old head. I'm 28, about to turn 29 in a few months. I am an old head pushing 30. I'm, I'm grandfathered now. All right. I'm grandfathered. Y'all that just reached 20, welcome to the old head crew. Too old to be playing freaking video games. Just like you told me. This is something that we're going to have to wait and see. The, high, the better shooter you are, you go to the higher risk. Now, like I said, if the Zens are not an issue, this would be a W. It differentiates the people that really struggle at the game. Give them an incentive to play the game. Yes, it's holding their hand and it's putting tricycles on a bicycle. And we do not want that. But what can you do? If it's, it's going to help the game, help the growth of the game, help keep the game healthy for a longer period, I'm for it. I'm not going to lose nobody making five whites in a row. It's not going to happen. All right. Because if I see them doing that, all I'm going to do is switch to that low risk shooting and start mistiming my shots on purpose because I'm not going to be at a disadvantage. But if the high risk shooting is like 2K24, if you know your shot, you're going to make it nine times out of 10 unless you get an RNG animation. I am cool with that because I was greening fades from Uganda from the beginning of the year and I'm still doing it. All right. So we will see. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think that this feature will help promote better growth in 2k from casuals and kids it might not be good for competition but sometimes you have to take a hit to get to your final goal for us content creators our goal i'm speaking as a content creator we want the game to be healthy for a long time and we want to see a lot of people on the game enjoying the game like they used to if that means greens only are not going to be the thing that happens anymore then i'm okay with that because it's how it's worth the trade-off if implemented correctly i do not want to see five whites dropping in a row that's i'll get that out the way i'll get that out, out the way right now i do not want to see five missed time shots going in 
But if it's one or two every few games, I'm cool with that. Let me know guys, what you guys think in the comment section. I'm trying to get my office right. I'm trying to get my Wi-Fi fixed. Those that don't know, I got we got hit by a hurricane this last month and it had so it, it caused a lot of setbacks. So I am trying to get everything right before 2K25. All I ask is that you guys hit the like button and help help out the channel as we prepare for the grind. This grind will be more wicked than any grind you have ever seen me do on this channel. Mark my words. Big up on yourself. Big up Lord Almighty. We're gone.